Thanks very much, Anna. Okay. Um, Ed and Chong is going to come and talk about um, pollinator performance of drone fly, European honeybee, and brown blowfly in pollination tents of hybrid carrot seed crops. Hi everyone, my name is Edna and today I'm going to share a bit about my project. So I'm looking at the pollinator performance of two different fly species to add of honeybee in a pollination tents of hybrid carrot seed crop. So compared to open pollinated carrots, hybrid carrot seed crop produce significantly lower seed yield. As one of the largest vegetable seed crop by area and value in Tasmania, it has an estimated total farm gate value of about 29 million. And because it's such a highly dynamic industry, industry would love to expand it. To ensure genetic purity of seed, pollination tents are frequently used to exclude other pollen. And hybrid carrot seed crop requires a pollinator to move between the pollen present and pollen absent line for successful pollination to happen. For carrot flower, pollen deceases in the morning and nectar flows later in the day. Um, currently, honeybee is the primary managed pollinator of hybrid carrots. However, there are a number of issues associated with using honeybee in hybrid carrot for seed pollination. So when the temperatures are too hot, cold, windy, cloudy and wet, their activity levels are greatly reduced. And due to a number of pests and diseases, their population are in decline elsewhere in the world. And also honeybee is commonly known for stinging people and they work poorly in pollination tent because they mainly remain at roof level instead of foraging on carrot umbrels. And because of all this reason, industry is really interested in looking for alternative pollinator that doesn't sting, works in pollination tent and unfavorable environmental condition. So in this experiment, I'm looking at two types of fly. One is a brown blow fly, which everyone would have seen near a road queue. And the other looks very much like honeybee, but it's in fact a drone fly. So both are hypothesized to pollinate numerous crops. Both are commercially used for pollination in some parts of the world, and both possess desirable characteristics for pollination in terms of um, body hairiness, body size, and pollen carrying load. So this leads us to the question, could managed flies pollinate hybrid carrot seed crops? So the aim of my experiment is to compare between the three species in terms of their pollinator performance. So in, collabor for, in collaboration with SPS, five pollination tents were set up. Each tent is divided into two rooms. Each insect species has three rooms across the five tents. So either 800 honeybee, 800 drone flies, or 800 blowflies were placed in each room. Two carrot cultivars are used in this experiment. So this is the layout of a room in a pollination tent. As you can see, there are two plots in a room. Each plot contains two rows of male sterile on either side of male fertile rows. So pollen needs to be transported from the MF line to the CMS line for successful pollination to happen. So to quantify pollinator performance of the three insect species, I'm going to look at two main factors. So for insect behavior, I'll be looking at um, the time these insects are active and their behavior and their movement within and between row. And for pollen measure, I'll be looking at how much pollen does each of the three species carry, how much pollen is being deposited, and how viable is the pollen that are being deposited on the stigma. And in this case, germination viability, it's really important because carrot pollen only lasts for about 30 to 45 minutes. So the first measure that I'm going to look at is insect activity during different time of the day. So this measure is important because, as I mentioned before, carrot pollen dehisces in the morning. So if, as, if an insect is more active in the morning, it's more likely to carry pollen on their bodies for later transfer. So whether parameters play a role in daily insect activity level, um, drone fly are more active at lower temperature. 
as it reflected here in the morning. Honeybee is more active as the day warms up. So as you can see, it's reflected in midday and afternoon. Um, the activity of blowfly are relatively low throughout the three time period. And there are other weather parameters that influence the, their daily acti insect activity as well. However, because of the time constraint, I will not go into details in this experiment, in this seminar. Um, so this is a video of a drone fly feeding on a carrot umbo. So the more flower it move on, the more, more it move over the flower, the more likely pollination is going to happen. So this is a carrot umbo and it is made out of many tiny carrot umblets. So moving on to insect behavior. So this measure is important because the longer they spend on a carrot umbo, the more umblets they are going to visit and the, the more likely pollination is going to happen. So um, in terms of um, number of umblets visits, honeybee is performing better than the two types of fly. However, there's no difference for the time spent on umbo between each of the three species, which average around 55 seconds. So in hybrid carrot seed crop, we want the pollinator to move between rows because the pollen present line is alternated with the pollen absent line. So pollinator movement across row is critical for successful pollination. And um, we expect the insect to be equally likely to move within and between rows. So we will expect a 50-50 percentage. However, as you can see here, all three species are more likely to move within row than between row, which is not what we want. So we have sort of talked about poll, um, insect behavior. Now we'll move into um, different pollen measures. So next, I counted to, we look at pollen carrying load by counting carrot on the body of 70 insects, because the more pollen an insect carries, the more likely it is going to deposit pollen on the stigma. So majority of the pollen was found on the ventral body region. This is what we want because ventral body region is more likely to come into contact to, to the flower and involved in the pollination process. Um, drone fly and blow fly is uh, performing better than honeybee in terms of um, the amount of pollen carried on their bodies. However, cobicula of honeybee were removed in the, during the experiment because um, honeybee tends to bound up pollen in the form of pollen ball, so pollen ball are less likely to be involved in pollination. So now we use um, single pollen deposition to look at um, who deposit more pollen per stigma because the more pollen an insect carries, the more likely it is going to deposit on the stigma. So for pollen deposition on stigma, we did not do blowfly because their activity was so low, it would take a long time to do that. So as you can see, drone fly is performing better than honeybee in terms of um, pollen deposition. However, it is worth noting that both species have very different behavior. So honeybee are actively collecting pollen and carrying back to the hive in the form of pollen bowl and they are actively killing them themselves, which is reflected in the lower pollen, lower body pollen count and lower pollen deposition rate. However, in contrast, um, drone fly, they get dirtier and dirtier over time and they clean themselves less frequently, which is reflected in the higher body pollen count and higher body pollen deposition, as you can see here. So now, I next, it leads us to the question, how viable is the pollen that are being deposited by these two insect species? So I looked at the germ pollination, pollen viability of 3,500 pollen grain carried by honeybee and drone fly using FCR tests. So as you can see here, fluorescent, Pollen indicates viability. So um, honeybee actually has higher pollen viability despite having lower body pollen count and lower pollen deposition. So in summary, the three species are different in each category. They behave differently in different ways and have different pollen measures as well. And we have two 
ticks for honeybee, three ticks for drone fly, and one tick for blow fly. So I guess the main question is who would be a better pollinator? So obviously blow fly are poor pollinators. However, drone fly carry and deposit more pollen but with lower viability. Honeybee carries and deposit less pollen but with higher pollen viability. So there's no better pollinator between honeybee and drone fly in this experiment. Um, however, it is recommended to use drone fly together with honeybee to complement each other in terms of pollination. So um, it is unknown whether drone fly will remain in open field condition after release because yes, drone fly carries more pollen and deposit more pollen. However, is this an artifact of being confined in a pollination tent? And because when they are being released in the open field, everything can change. So um, for large scale commercial hybrid carrot production, I believe um, open field condition is still better. So, um, so I want to give special thanks to everyone who have helped me with this project, um, especially Jeff and Steve and Cameron from Seed Purity for guiding me and all the casual staff and all the staff from TIA. And thank you for listening. Any question? Great, awesome. Okay, so has anybody got any questions for Edna? So, so Deep is asking a question about how the insect behavior was actually um, performed and whether Edna got stung in the process. Um, I didn't get stung throughout the whole experiment, so that's a good point. So for insect behavior, we actually measure several things. And because um, the measurement needs to be measured at the same place at the same time, because it's dictated by environmental condition. So we have a lot of casual stuff. So multiple observer were in different rooms and we record the number of armlets and insect visits. So what basically what we did was very simple, we just stand in front of a carrot umbo with insect and we observe the number of umbrellas they visited and we measured the duration they're there as well. That's basically what we did. For so what Matt's asking is whether there's commercial providers for um, alternative pollinators like drone flies or blow flies. Um, so currently in Australia, they are doing a lot of research. So I'm working with Seed Purity. So Seed Purity actually has, um, are currently researching and rearing their own drone fly for open release. And they're actually, because my project is part of a bigger project with Seed Purity, so in the future after this experiment, they are going to mass, pro mass spread drone fly, put them in open field condition. However, I'm pretty sure that in other countries, they are the Commercial, commercial scale provider. However, I believe there's none in Australia at the moment. So what Adele was asking is whether there was any competition between the three insect species uh, for the pollen. Um, thanks for your question. It's really interesting. So um, in this experiment, there's no competition because each insect species are isolated in every room, but um, in open field, there might be a slight issue with drone fly because they are territorial in nature, so they might attack other insect species, so there might be a competition, but in open field, I actually did another experiment on open field as well, so I actually looked at the pollen diversity of each of the three species in open field. Um, Honeybee and drone fly actually visited um, a lot more pollen in a carrot field than um, so they, they, they actually forage on a wide range of pollens instead of just carrot pollen, even though I collected all those fields inside from a hybrid carrot field. So, uh, so what Dougal was asking is whether uh, there's particular reasons why the pollen viability was lower on the drone flies than it was on the honeybees. So the pollen 
I think the pollen viability is lower because when I look at them, when I was doing the pollen body pollen count, there's actually a lot of pollen caking on their body hair. So it's a lot of old po new pollen on top of old pollen. So when they are depositing the pollen on the stigma, it's not necessary new and fresh pollen. It's a mix of pollen. But for honeybee, because of the frequency, they are cleaning themselves. So most of the pollen that they, they are, they don't have a lot of body pollen, pollen on their bodies, but most of the pollen that they carry are with higher pollen viability. Thanks so much. Thank you.